Keith, Matt Mox here, and I'm joined with Rock Record 198. Just looking over at Lowville and Beaver River 1923 for good friend TBM. We'll tell you more about it later on. For now, I got a job to do. What's up, YouTube? It's the Brick Maniac, and I just want to give a quick thank you to Matt's Mox and his buddy Rock Record 198 up in Pennsylvania for filming footage of the real LMBR 1923, which you could probably guess is what my locomotive is based off of. So let's get into this. So I'm going to do this mock showcase slash review in sections. So it's going to be the base, the cab, the tender, and then the boiler. So let's start with the base. So here you can see the base. And if I flip it upside down here, you can see that I used some Technic rods as well as some bricks to achieve this little wheel chassis. And then you can also see the pistons here. And there is the drive rod. And as you can see, it moves quite smoothly. Here's a better look at the pilot wheels. Now, as you can see, this little part comes off and it has the foot plates as well as a little handlebar here. And this little section is just the wheels and the connection to the base of the locomotive. And it just comes together connecting right here, like so. And those are the pilot wheels. The way it connects is this little piece right here. So I will connect these two to show you how it works. So they are connected here. It moves quite smoothly and it does not run into the drive rod. So that's pretty much it for the base of the locomotive. And now I'll go to the cab. So here's the cab. Now you can see if I pop off the roof here, you can get a better look at the interior. As you can see, the roof overhangs a bit and it's the same on the real model. So I really wanted to incorporate that. And you can see these little windows here. And that's pretty much the cab. It's a pretty simple design, but there's not much more to be added. Okay, so here is the tender. You can see the top here, how that works. And it actually comes off like so. And when it comes off, you can see all the power functions in there. And it simply goes back on by grabbing this handle and putting it on and it just stays there. Also, the receiver sticks out right there. It is better for the receiver to stick out so you do not have any troubles with your power functions. You can also see this little piece here. Now that is where it connects to the base of the locomotive. So that's pretty much it for the tender here. I'm gonna move on to the boiler. Okay, so here is our last piece here. It is the boiler. And you can see all the instruments on top. Now I took one side off just to show you how it's connected. So it's just two plates right here and then these curved pieces. And it would just attach on here like so. So that is pretty much it for the boiler and the mock showcase. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this mock showcase video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.